Welcome to the Extensions Overview. This video will discuss the extension section of the control sheet, including creating an extension, the extension process with and without workflow, and the extension page details. We will start with creating extensions. Users can create an extension directly from the My View page or the Search page by simply selecting the client and choosing the Create Extension option from the Action buttons. Users can also create an extension from the client's control sheet by clicking on the client name, going to the extension section, and clicking on, click here, to create extension for this task. Once the extension has been created, users can see the extension on the control sheet, and they will see all the affiliated deliverables and be able to update and extend those dates. The user can select the individual deliverables within the extension section and bulk edit from here. We will go over bulk editing in just a few moments. Users have the ability to bulk edit, extend the due dates, undo the last extension dates, and add instructions. When users save the instructions, they will post to the top of the extension section. Adding instructions in the section means, this is a global instruction and it's affiliated with every deliverable below. If the user has an individual comment for the deliverables, they can post them to the comment section to the right-hand side. Users can move the extension. They can close the extensions moving them to the NIP status. NIP status means no longer in process. Users have the option to review their extension movement as well as the historical information of the extension. Within the grid, users have the ability to edit certain fields utilizing their inline editing and drag and drop feature. They can easily select and update the preparation methods, payment methods, they can enter the payment amount. Users can code the extension as not filing. They can update the extension filing method. The date the extension filed will be populated when clicking on close extension. The extend dates, undo dates and close ext options are available only to those users with the manage extensions user right. Users can also see who filed the extension. They can enter the DCN, document control number. And they have the ability to view the original, current and next due dates. Let's talk about the extension with the workflows. Users have the ability to move the extension from person to person and from status to status. Users can move an extension directly from the control sheet by selecting the move extension option. This will bring up the searchable statuses in searchable users. Once the selection has been made click on the save button. The extension has just been moved. The extension will be visible on the user's My View page it was assigned to. They will see the extension in the My Extensions view. By clicking on this, it will give the user the task detailed information for the extension that has been moved to them. To access the extension page at any time, users can click on the IP, in process hyperlink. This will bring the user directly into that extension or they can always go directly into the client's control sheet. For an extension that has been moved to the general administrative view, users can access them under the views drop-down list, select extension tasks. This will bring up the available list of all of the extensions moved to the workflow. Users can move the extensions directly from here by selecting the extension tasks and clicking on the move extension button. This will allow the user to select the next extension step in the workflow and select the next user or leave as blank to move to the general administrator pool. The selected extensions here will be moved to the review status and moved to the user's My Extensions tab. Let's update the extension details in bulk. Select your extensions, go to Task Information and click Extension. Users will see the options available to bulk update the details. They can select the extensions and then click Bulk Edit. This will allow the user to bulk edit the information for multiple tasks at a time. Within the bulk edit, users can have the date extension was filed, the person filing the extension, the extension filing method, the prep method, the payment method, the document control number if one applies, and payment amount. Users can also enter comments in the comments section. When clicking on apply, it will populate the grid for all the tasks. Don't forget to click on the save and extend button. Users also have the ability to utilize the inline editing option as well as the drag and drop feature here. The details of the extension are typically updated by the preparer when it is going through the extension prep process and is reviewed by the reviewer when it is moving through the extension review process. So the information is available for the assembly and shipping process. To extend a task, the minimum field required is the date the extension was filed. Choose your date with your inline editing options and drag and drop. Click on the option that says save and extend. You will now see the original due dates and the current due dates have been updated. The last step in the process is to close the extension task out. To close the extension task, select the tasks and click on close ext. 
the manage extensions user right needs to be applied to users to be able to close their extensions at any time. By closing the extension task, the user is updating the workflow to show that the extension has been filed and that the extensions of the tasks are now complete. You can see the extension is now in the NIP status which means it is no longer in process and your due dates have been updated. Let us talk about the extension process without a workflow. Let's create an extension directly from the My View page by selecting the tasks, clicking on Create Extensions, to bring up the window allowing users to edit the details. Select the deliverables, minimum entry is the date the extension was filed. Users can utilize the drag and drop feature, or they can utilize the bulk edit. Click on Save and Extend. Back on the My View page the user can see the tasks are still there and the extension is in process and they can see the new due date reflected. Viewing the extensions from the My View page, users can access their extensions directly from the My Extensions bin. Users can also access all the extensions from the Extension Tasks view. The Advanced Search allows users to search for tasks, narrowed down by extension information. They can narrow down by extension task category for all of their tasks. Tasks that exclude extensions, or tasks that have extensions. Original due date ranges, extension statuses, and current due date ranges. The search displays the tasks and shows you in the extension column whether or not an extension exists. This concludes this video tutorial on extensions.